In this video, we will learn about Mediterranean climate. Now, it is denoted by capital letter C and small letter S. The capital letter C denotes the entire group, which is warm temperate mid latitude climate, and small letter S denotes summer dry season. As the name suggests, Mediterranean climate occurs around Mediterranean Sea. But then there are other parts of the world where similar climatic conditions exist. They are California, Western and Southern Australia, Central Chile, Southwestern South Africa, Western and Central Asia. Mediterranean climate roughly exists between 30 and 45 degrees north and south of the equator. However, if you look at this map, since Northern Hemisphere has more landmass compared to Southern Hemisphere, so the existence of Mediterranean climate is more dominant in the Northern Hemisphere. Again, if you look at the map carefully, you will find the Mediterranean climate to be on the western coast of continents. If you see the previous video on humid subtropical climate, there you will learn that subtropical humid climate exists at the eastern coast of continents. And here we learned Mediterranean climate exists on the western coast of continents. So please remember this difference. Now let's see why the Mediterranean climate exists on the western coast of the continents. During summer, this happens because of the subtropical high which is basically a high pressure belt that exists in the subtropical region. And during winter, it's because of westerly wind. Now, I want you to carefully understand this. As I said, subtropical high is a high pressure belt. That means it contains cool and dry air because high pressure is associated with cool and dry air that sinks. Now, subtropical high exists around the latitudes of 30 degree north in the northern hemisphere and 30 degree south in the southern hemisphere. I have a video on subtropical high. I'll put the link of that video in the description. If you're curious to know everything in detail, how it happens, you can go and watch the video. Anyways, what we saw is that the Mediterranean climate exists during summer because of subtropical high. So keep in mind that we are talking about summer season here. That means the northern hemisphere of the earth is slightly tilted towards the sun because that is how the sun's angle will be a little more towards the northern hemisphere. And that's how it will be summer and more warm. And we also know that the land surface heats up faster than the ocean body. That means the land portion is going to be warm and warm temperature is associated with low pressure. Therefore, it is very obvious that the high pressure belt has to be in the ocean. So that means during summer, the subtropical high exists in the oceans. Now, if a high pressure belt exists in the ocean, and we also know that air moves from high pressure to low pressure, that means the cool air has to move from the Mediterranean Sea and the ocean as well as from the pole area towards the landmass that has Mediterranean climate. That also means during summer, in Mediterranean region it is dry because of the cold ocean currents that bring dry air. And if you look at this world map again, you'll find that all the landmass that has the Mediterranean climate, the ocean and Mediterranean Sea is on the western and southern coast of these landmasses. So I hope this part is clear as to how the subtropical high has an influence on this place with Mediterranean climate. Now during the winter, Mediterranean climate exists due to westerly winds. Now westerly winds are strong winds that are found in the middle latitudes. The westerlies generally blow between 30 degree and 60 degree latitude in both northern and southern hemisphere. Now these winds are noticeable at higher altitude. They originate from the high pressure areas in the subtropical high region and goes towards the poles. Their movement is from west to east. The influence that westerly winds have on the Mediterranean climate is during winters. During winters, the northern hemisphere is slightly tilted away from the sun. That means during winter, most of the places in the northern hemisphere receives less sun rays. That should make the landmass cool. And then if you look at the water body, which was warmed up all summer, moves in and keeps the land warm and often brings rain. If I have to sum it up, just remember, in Mediterranean climate, during summer, there's no rainfall. So most of the rain falls during the cool winter. Snow can fall in higher elevation areas or places that are farther north. So Mediterranean climate receives around 20 inches of annual rainfall. When it comes to vegetation, Plants in Mediterranean climate are able to survive the long dry summers. Now evergreen trees such as pine and cypress trees are found along with deciduous trees like oak trees. Even fruit trees and vines such as grapes, figs, olives and citrus fruits grow well in the Mediterranean climate. Now other small plants such as shrubs, grasses and herbs are also found in this climatic region.